In this video, I'm going to give you guys my five favorite grappling strength building exercises. Let's discuss. What's going on guys? My name is Josh Setledge. I am the BJJ Strength Coach. I'm here to give you guys my five favorite grappling strength building exercises. Now, I get this question pretty commonly. Um, I, I don't know if it's the most common question I get on Instagram or in the comments on some of these YouTube videos, but a lot of people are asking me, hey, what's a great exercise that I can get really strong for grappling, whether it's wrestling, jujitsu, sambo, judo, or any other sort of ground combative activity. The very first exercise, if I were to say like my all time favorite grappling strength building exercise, that's gonna be the Zercher squat. Now, I guess you would say there's another variation of the Zercher squat where we sit to a box or squat to a box called the Zercher box squat. Both are amazing, incredible exercises. And here are a few reasons why. The Zercher squat is great because the bar is in front of your body and you have to get into this double underhook position to stabilize and hold the bar. So not only are you strengthening your lower body because it is a squat movement, but you're also strengthening the upper body, especially your upper back, which is very important for creating the ability to maintain a strong posture. You think about grappling sports when you're trying to snap somebody down, set up a set your opponent up in a position where you can take them down. You have to break down their posture. What's great about the Zercher squat is that because you have to hold the bar in this double underhook position, the bar is constantly fighting to pull you forward and to round your upper back. And if you could use the Zercher squat to get really strong and keeping your chest up, your back straight, posture is, is rock solid, that's gonna have a great transfer and carry over to the mat. Now the Zercher squat is a, is a great exercise because it also trains the posterior chain. The posterior chain is kind of the center of all athletic movements. Those giant muscles in the back of your, kind of like the middle to your lower body, those giant muscles are huge when it comes to sprinting, when it comes to takedowns, jumping, uh, lunging, just being explosive and really any sort of athletic movement a lot of the a lot of that comes from the posterior chain you cannot be strong if your posterior chain is weak my second favorite exercise to help grapplers get strong is going to be the sumo deadlift a lot of times in jiu-jitsu a lot of times in wrestling your feet don't stay very close together when you're in your wrestling stance or when you're in a good athletic stance you widen your base just a little bit you're not going to go you know, do the splits on the mat or anything like that, but you're gonna widen your base a little bit so that you can lower your center of gravity, be in a little bit better position to be balanced and be able to move and kind of be agile and jump into these various positions on the mat and be very reactive. Now, the sumo deadlift is great because it, train, it helps strengthen the hips, the glutes, and the adductor, which are huge for finishing strong on takedowns, huge for guard passes, huge for any type of guard game where you, you like to set up a lot of sweeps or maybe try to throw up a lot of submissions off bottom. Training your hips and strengthening your hips is, is one of the most important areas for you to be strong on the mat. There's also a lot of variations of the sumo deadlift that you can do. You could do a sumo deadlift off blocks where you shorten the range of motion a little bit. You can do deficit sumo deadlifts where you increase the range of motion a little bit. A lot of times jujitsu athletes and wrestlers eventually start to develop some sort of lower back pain because they're constantly in that rounded over position in their wrestling stance or if they're a guard player they're rounding their lumbar spine their hips kind of get tucked underneath them as they're playing guard and so a deadlift a deadlift variation that puts a lot of strain on the low back and sometimes uh, hinder their training and, and take a while for them to recover from so the sumo deadlift kind of acts as a twofer not only can you get really strong but it also just takes a little a uh, little bit of strain and load off the low back and puts it more in the hips that way you can continue getting strong continue strengthening your entire body with the sumo deadlift and continue making progress on the mat the third exercise my third favorite grappling strength exercise is going to be the bent over row the bent over row is a huge strength building exercise look at the movements that we've already talked about so far we've talked about the squat we've talked about 
the hinge, which is the sumo deadlift. Now we're talking a big pulling movement. You think about wrestling, you think about how you need to control your opponent, pull their hips into you so you can hit them with that big suplex. And if you're a guard passer, you establish your grips on your opponent and you pull yourself into them. You you know open up your chest so you can smash past them and make them feel that pressure. Bent over rows are going to be huge because it, it helps strengthen not only your, your grip and your forearms, but it helps strengthen your upper back, your mid back. If you're doing them heavy enough and correctly, they're also going to help strengthen and stabilize your low back. They train your core because you have to resist the movement. Every time the barbell comes down, you can't fold over and lose position. You got to keep your chest up, your shoulder blades back and tucked as you're rowing the bar into position each and every rep. So there's, so there's just so many benefits that come from the bent over row. And what I like about the bent over row is that it's an easy exercise to use for hypertrophy or building bigger muscles. It's an easy exercise to build strength. It's an easy exercise to modify for beginners. I'm gonna talk about the floor press. The floor press is great because it is very similar to a bench press. It's a horizontal pressing exercise. But what I really like about it is that it separates the eccentric and the concentric portion of the lift. You look at any exercise, there's gonna be a downward phase, there's gonna be a pause phase where the weight stops at the bottom, and then there's a reversal or upward phase. The downward phase is called the eccentric portion of the lift. That, that stop at the bottom, regardless if it's real quick or if you know, you're pausing for two or three seconds, that's called the isometric phase. And then the upwards phase of the lift, whether it's a bicep curl, whether it's a squat where you squat down, pause at the bottom and come up, that's called the concentric phase. Your muscles are very pliable. They're very elastic. They're kind of like rubber bands. And so you can catch what's called the stretch reflex at the bottom of various exercises. And that's kind of like bouncing out of the hole. They're relying on what's known as the stretch reflex, where the muscles stretch a little bit and then they kind of snap back, kind of like a rubber band. If you want to get really, really, really strong, it's a good idea to spend some time not relying on that stretch reflex, trying to separate the downward motion and the upward motion. And an easy way to do that is by adding some sort of stop to the movement in the middle. Now the same principle applies to the floor press. When you come down on the floor press, you can't bounce it off your chest. You can't you know, count on the stretch reflex, reflex of your pec to stretch across and boom, kind of slingshot it back up. Slingshot it back up, see what I did there? Grab a slingshot at markbellslingshot.com. The floor press takes that away. When you come down, you have to stop and then there's no bounce. You have to generate all that force and all that power to press the bar back into the top position all on your own. The floor press is just a great exercise. It's a great builder for the upper body. You can do the floor press for hypertrophy to increase the size of your muscles, but you can also use the floor press to develop strength. You could use the floor press to develop speed with adding bands, adding chains, and doing more dynamic effort styled workouts with the floor press included in there. The floor press is a great exercise. All right, here we go. The fifth and final favorite exercise for for improving grappling strength is going to be the pull-up. Now, pull-ups, just so everybody's clear and everybody understands, pull-ups are palms forward. Chin-ups are palms facing you. Now, I'm a big fan of chin-ups, and I guess you could say like, I say pull-up is my fifth favorite exercise, but you can mix chin-ups in there too. Any sort of body weight pulling exercise where you have to have complete control over your body weight. Establishing control over your body weight and gaining strength by moving around your body weight is going to be huge for grappling sports. Learning how to stabilize your shoulder in that hang position as you're hanging on the bar is gonna be very powerful because it helps you strengthen all the stabilizing muscles in the shoulder, which will help decrease the risk of injury in the future. If you have shoulder pain, the traction that you get or the gradual kind of spacing that you get just by hanging on a bar will help improve your posture. It'll help promote blood flow through those areas. It'll help improve your overhead position, which has good transfer and carry over to when you do overhead pressing exercises. You can get so strong doing pull-ups. It is unreal. 
your grip is going to get stronger. Your biceps are going to get stronger. Everybody wants strong biceps, right? Your back is going to get just freaking crazy strong with pull-ups. What's great about pull-ups is like the floor press, like the bent over row, pull-ups are a great exercise for improving muscle size or improving hypertrophy as well as building strength. You can do pull-ups for all sorts of reasons. You can do pull-ups in, you know, working to a few sets of two RIR or working to two reps in reserve to kind of improve your muscular endurance if you can rock a bunch of pull-ups back to back to back. You can add weight to pull-ups and go kind of heavy for sets of six, sets of five, really strengthen the connective tissue in your, in your biceps and in your forearms and in your shoulders. The pull-up is a great exercise. Just learning how to control your body weight is an awesome principle to, to adhere to in general, but more specifically, the pull-up and I will say chin-ups uh, work well also, but it's good to switch things up. It's good to use both. They're just a great exercise for grapplers. Your grip is gonna get stronger. You're gonna decrease your risk of injury. Your upper back is gonna get stronger. Are right, you guys catching the theme here? Posterior chain needs to be strong. Your upper back needs to be strong. Your grip needs to be strong for what you need to do on the mat when it comes to jujitsu and wrestling. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh Setledge. I am the BJJ Strength Coach. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, like this video, and if you could do me a huge favor, share this with some of your training partners. If you guys are, are kind of struggling right now because you aren't able to train as often or they aren't doing as many competitions as they were before, use this time as kind of like your off season to get stronger and share this video with a training partner. Maybe you guys go to the gym together, work through some of the exercises that I just listed out for you. If you're interested in a free, four week, two day training program. It's two days a week for four weeks. It's a full body strength program that I've created for grappling athletes. If that's something you're interested in, just click the link in the description below on this video and I'd love to send that over to you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.